Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now I did in the interim um, between episodes travel to the next Mesa area, which is just outside of Tal Tal Talos City. Um, and we're just going to go speak to this guy who Where's supposedly Alina? will you be able to get us. You said bring her back. I found her. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. Oh. Oh. I see. Jeez, background voice is so loud. Yeah, no, um, <clears throat> yeah, supposedly he's got a way to get us into the embassy so that we can uh, find out about Project Failsafe. Chief Herkwill? Shalem Avesta sent us. He says you know a way into the HUD embassy. A real live Jedi Master. Now we're talking. Pardon the stink. Haven't been near a shower in days. HUD embassy's locked up tight. Used to have a fancy pants bureaucrat helping us inside, Representative Ecklin. But he's gone quiet. Probably dead. Good news is, the cartel hasn't changed anything at their embassy. Got the same turrets, droids, passcodes I set up for them. Lazy huts. Storming enemy territory is much simpler with a well-informed guide. Simple is a stretch. Let's go with not instantly lethal. You want inside the hut embassy, you'll have to finesse three layers of security. First layer is heavy turrets in the courtyard. The only good thing to come out of these ground quakes is that they expose the turret power generators. Overload those, and turrets lose their punch. Disable the turret power generator so we don't get scorched on the way in. And then? Security layer two is the embassy's main door. Three meters of reinforced durasteel. Even a lightsaber would take hours to cut through. But the door will unlock for a diplomatic passcode. You can generate one by accessing the government building secure terminal. Get inside the government building, slice the secure terminal for a passcode, and get out. Next? Last but not least are the security droids. Top of the line Arcanian models. Nasty disposition. Shoot intruders on sight. Good news is they can be reprogrammed. The droid control station in my old security HQ will do the trick. Turning the droids against the huts will be poetic justice. You've been most helpful, Chief. We're going in. Hit those objectives, and I guarantee you'll get inside the embassy. Whether you'll find your answers is a different matter. If Representative Eklund's still alive, maybe help him escape? He's a fuss budget, but basically all right. I'll keep a comm channel open when I can. Okay, well, that was like a load of information. They just gave us so, so many things to do. Um, wow, well, I mean, it's quite far away. Normally they normally they don't have a lot of this sort of annoying tran like travel. Uh, but oh well. Hopefully, um, are there going to be like a load of enemies? Sort of. I wonder whether I can sort of get around them by just cheekily jumping. I mean, I have got stealth. Thing is, that I don't particularly want to have to fight loads of people. Um. It's fair, it's not actually going to take us that long to get there. I thought that this map looks really big, but it's actually not huge. Um, I am just going to follow the path instead of trying to find my own way around. Um, knowing me, I'd end up making our journey like five times longer than it needs to be. Uh, what, what have I done in the interim? So it's been um, a week or two, maybe? A week. I want to say probably a week and a half, maybe something like that, since I uh, last recorded. Uh, what's nice at the moment is obviously we only have one uh, quest ch chain to follow, so it's really easy for me to just pick up right where we left off because it's only I only need to just like hit mission log and then just read whatever uh, we've done last, and I don't have to worry about remembering what we're doing at the planet and the uh, story quest. So it's been um, it's been really nice actually. Okay. Oh, that's way too far down for me to jump. <laughs> this is cool though, this area. Okay, so we're pretty... Alright, I'm... I'm. We'll, we'll fight anything that comes our way now. Oh, that's no bonus. That surprised me. Alright, let's go to this one first since we've, we're already here. Okay. We have to go into like a mini building area each time to do something. That's interesting. <laughs> I 
bet there's a bonus to take out repair stuff. I actually feel like the game is running so smooth today. <laughs> I don't know why. God, these people are really easy to kill. Let's have a go at you, shall we? Yeah, you're not really that elite. No idea. Nice. Uh, so this is the turret power generators. You won't have to worry about those turrets. Nice. Um, what are we going to do next? Through the bars. Oh, I didn't realise we'd gone past a green. Yeah, it's just reputation. Most of the um, greens on this planet will now just be reputation. I'm going up the right way. It's through here, yeah? Oh my god, I actually have to like do like a mini jumping puzzle to get on top of this thing. Shit, missed it. How cool is that? I've just got to wait for it to come back down. Come on, come back down. That's very cool. Yeah, I love that. That is awesome. I'm going to go down first, I think. Oh, love that. That was such a cool little thing. It's okay. Um, there's some green stuff up there. Jesus, like one hit in some of these people. <laughs> uh, wrong way. It's so windy, it's sometimes it's really easy to get sort of lost in these on which way to go. Two out of twenty-five. Right, let's kill these. Why not? Hello, Talos Guard. Talos? Tal I can't remember how they pronounce it. Talos? Yeah, that's one more. Cool. I love it. I, you know, I sort of love and hate that I can one shot them. They shouldn't be that easy, but at the same time, it's quite cool that they are. <laughs> that should take care of the security drives. Nice. Right, and then the other one is just on the other side of the complex. Over in this direction, I don't really see that many enemies. I bet there must be someone else nearby. I sort of did want to do the bonus, but I don't think I'll find 25 people. <laughs> Left it. It's okay. Right up the back side. Got a nice uh, green bar as well, which is cool. So we should get some nice uh, XP. That passcode will open the embassy's main doors. Nice. The HUD embassy's all yours. Mind you stepping there. Right, where is it? Ah, it's not too far. But at least it means we can do some of the bonus. Um, is it, oh, see, this still counts as a bonus. Is it, does this count as a bonus? No, no. Oh, well. Um, I will, I will fight people as we go, though. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lot of me sort of travelling, and I think like, that can get boring sometimes.
Well, this is like our incident starts right there, so it didn't actually have to go far at all. Nice. Let's kill you guys. No greens. Hello. Activate security terminal? Access the security terminal. Activate. So what, we're not killing the traitors. Oh, is that why they're yellow, I'm presuming? Because they, they're selling out to the Hutt cartel. Um, but they're technically innocent. Oh, they don't need to be killed. I don't know if innocent is the right word to use. Right, we've got a new bonus. Embassy forces. Okay. Good. We'll just ignore the town of city takedown. Take it slow for a while. No, I do my AOE, but it doesn't. But if I do this. Oh, okay, no, it does. <laughs> the other times I just hadn't um, come near them, near them enough. Accessing the security terminal. Acknowledging new ident code. Greetings, Senior Command Unit 223. You're a credit to your security programming. I'll be sure to put in a commendation. Acknowledged. Feel free to inspect the embassy. You will find everything in order. Okay, so now none of the security droids should bother us at all. Um, so we just actually- wow, that's a lot of enemies at once. Oh, Jesus! <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a small throat, guys, so do excuse me if I sort of clear my throat every now and again. Ooh, got a reputation! down embassy lieutenant. Nice. Uh, is it here somewhere? Right, let's just get you guys out of the way. Oh, you have to defeat 20. It's 13. Wait, please. I'm an unarmed civilian, Representative Eklund with the McKeb Provisional Authority Council. I'm the official liaison to the Hutt Cartel. Whatever you need, I'll make sure you get it. Just don't hurt me. I know who you are, Representative Eklund. Chief Herquil said you were a friend. Then you're here on Shalem's orders. I'm sorry he brought the Jedi into this. Like it or not, the Hutt control McKeb now. Our only option is to cooperate, make the best of our new situation. Instead, Shalem stirs up trouble. He doesn't realize how much worse the Hutt could make things for us. No matter what you offer, the Hutt will always take more. Their deep core drilling has destabilized the entire planet. Please, don't be drawn in by Shalem's wild speculation. There's no evidence to support it. It doesn't even make sense. The Hutts are here on the planet too. If Makeb is destroyed, they die with it. Geological readings show this planet is coming apart. But we think the Huts have a project failsafe to deal with the situation. Knowing Shalem, you'll risk anything to find it. Well, I'll save some lives and help quash this rumor for good. If this project failsafe exists, there must be some record of it in the Embassy's archives. I'll get you access to them. But the Huts are on high alert. They've already summoned reinforcements. You'll have to deal with them. I'll meet you in the archive room. You're taking a great risk. You must care deeply about Makeb. I do. Enough to know when to fight and when to cooperate. You worry about those reinforcements. I'll make sure we can access the hot archives. Good luck. I don't trust him. He was far too easy to convince. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's continue, so we're just going to aggro me anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I only need three more. I'll get this one. Hello. Nice. 
bonus is done. Oh god, is there any, someone else over here? Okay. Archives. Security protocols have been disabled. Eklund okay. came through. Almost. I ran when I heard the fighting. Let me finish this. The hut in charge on McKeb is named Taboro. If Project Failsafe exists, there should be some reference to it in his communication logs. I assume you've met Taboro. What's your take on him? He isn't your typical hut. Quick profits matter less to him than long-term gains. Here, a hollow from someone named Vidrig has a Project Failsafe tag. Let's see what it says. Greetings, O oh great and glorious Taboro. I'm happy to report that Project Failsafe is both on schedule and under budget. Your Grand Ark is approaching completion. As these schematics illustrate, the Ark's ingenious outer layer will completely shield the vessel and its precious contents from McKeb's atmospheric unpleasantness. The cargo hold will store your entire Isotope 5 stockpile, while your chosen few companions travel in luxurious comfort on the Ark's upper decks. The Huts don't have a way to save McKeb from breaking apart. They're just planning to leave the planet before that happens. You're on your own. They'll abandon us? Leave everyone to die? That's... that's monstrous! A mighty Taboro, may I suggest replacing the standard passenger cabins with deluxe suites more suited to a hut of your stature? I can easily add them before the Ark's completion. This hollow is recent. Vidrig is still building the Ark. That means there's time to steal it for ourselves and evacuate the planet. Based on the schematics, we'll have room for the whole population if we convert the cargo hold to carry passengers. There are only so many places the Huts could hide such a massive project. We have to find it. Maybe there's another hollow from Vidrig saying where he set up his construction site? Nothing that obvious. But if I dig deep enough, I'm sure I'll find something. I'll scour these archives and transmit everything I find to Shalem. Given the circumstances, I feel rather unsafe remaining here. There's a shuttle pad nearby. If you remove the guards and unlock the shuttles, we could all fly away safely. Okay. Oh, I'm so... I, so I sort of... I know where we are in the story in comparison to um, to the Imperial storyline. And I'm just wondering when it's going to overlap. I'm really excited. Alright, come on. Get me to level 66. Oh, wrong way. This way. A nice instant teleport. Where's Arena? You said you would bring her back. I found her. You're alive. Guess my advice worked, huh? Shalem told me to patch you through right away. We're already analyzing the project failsafe plans Representative Eklund transmitted to us. They're sickening. To borrow the HUD is masterminding the greatest crime in galactic history. With Vidric's Ark, they'll escape McKeb and leave us all to die. We can't let that happen. The Deveronian promises much. We need to know if this Ark can accomplish everything he guarantees. Every other word in his plans is misspelled, and I'm no expert on engineering jargon. But the basics appear sound. I matched the Ark's construction site map to topographic readings. The Ark's being built at a secret facility inside the giant spear. That's a big tourist trap, a mesa with a hollow interior. Too dangerous to colonize but perfect for hiding an Ark's construction. An unplanned assault could result in irreparable damage to the Ark. What's the safest way to secure the ship? Not sure yet, Master Jedi. But we have probe droids gathering intel right now. Contact me when you're the giant spear. I'll help you plan this attack. It won't be an easy fight. Don't look at me. I've got a city to evacuate. Good luck. Okay. 
Oh, I wonder whether the the uh, two Imperial and Republic storylines just sail past each other without actually overlapping any anyway. Oh, that's so exciting! I can't wait to see how whether we'll find Vehicle out. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Uh, so we're going to the Ark. You're all right. Alasov, we're at the giant spear. What have you got for us? We set probe droids to scan the zone ahead of you. Their readings, not good news. Regulator fire teams are patrolling the site. Some of Vice Commandant Grevin's finest, backed by top lieutenants from the Hut Cartel. Everyone's packing military hardware. You're the expert on regulator tactics. How do we get through your old friends? The fire teams are spread out for patrol sweeps. Take those teams out fast enough and you shouldn't have to worry about a coordinated defense. The Ark construction site's behind a triple-bladed durasteel blast door. It takes three separate key cards to open the thing. Only cartel representatives carry them. Guess the Huts only trust the regulators up to a point. You need to find the cartel's top lieutenants and get their key cards. Thanks for the intel and advice. We'll contact you again when we unlock that blast door. I'll keep searching the files in case there's anything else. Good luck. Okay. There's a lot of um, search and find going on. Not sure I'm... I'm very impressed with the way that the... sort of quests are handled. Yeah, well. Right, got another bonus, so... We'll do this one for definite. I assume it's gonna be from the um, from the strong champions that you get. Yeah, yeah. We've got that yellow. Nice, we've got one key card. Alright, let's go down. This place is quite big actually. Tell Lieutenant, you probably have one. Ooh, yeah, no, those are the ones I need to go for. But uh, I am sort of eager to do the bonus, so once we've done this, we should have it. Oh, we're so close to level 66. Oh, yes. That was so close. But it will take like barely anything to tip us over. Let's just go this one. Come on. Ah, oh, still no. Okay, let's go. This way. <clears throat> I just want to get to level 66. Get slow for a while. Mm. Oh, we've got me so close. God damn. Come on. So close. Oh, blimey, I must not get like anything from. Lava. I'm actually quite eager to see how much we have. Um, yay! Okay. Level 66. Right, I'm going to just talk to Senya. I don't think we will have anything, but just in case. Nope. So Sen. Arc droid. He's yellow. Usually just leave the yellows alone. Nadia has been quite slow at healing me lately. Right, now we're going this way. There's no bonus to kill extra people, so I'm not going to bother. 
Blimey, our XP bar is huge. Our green uh, extra one. Alasov, we're through the blast door. Good. Seal it behind you. There ought to be a control panel nearby. Scramble the security codes. That'll keep reinforcements from following you. Schematics for the art construction site are a mess. Can't tell what half the symbols mean. Just do whatever it takes to secure the Ark, and good luck. It's okay. Don't like the idea of being sealed in here. Nor do I like the uh, lava beneath my feet thing. Or magma, I should say. This is insane. My men are working triple overtime and we're still falling behind. Work faster. That's not... Look, we both know Vidrig's skimming off the top. If this keeps up, we'll never finish the arc. You got a big mouth, Tiero. Maybe I'll shut it for you. Be aware, friend. No being is unarmed when others will stand up for him. Wait. You. You're who Taboro's yelling about. Give me a hand here. She's worth a fortune dead. Yeah, unlikely. Come on. Wait, where's the ark? I thought it. Wow. Oh. oh, wow. Republic, huh? Don't know what you're doing on Mekeb, but thanks. These cartel idiots won't listen to reason. I try calling for help and get a blaster shoved in my face. The huts work us to death, treat us like slaves. No, like animals. We're here to commandeer the Ark for the people of Mekeb. Once it's secure, you and your men will be freed. We're working 18-hour days. No breaks, no visits home. It's all on Vidrig's orders. My men break their backs, building his Ark while he steals everything not bolted down. Thanks to Vidrig, the Ark's weeks behind schedule. My crew can't finish the ship while that slimy Devaronian's selling off its components. Vidrig's locked himself in here for more than safety. He's covering up his deception so his HUD employers don't find out. He even bribed the guards. But you can expose him, Master Jedi. I'll tell my crew to lay low. Put Vidrig in his place, and we'll help you out however we can. Okay, confront Vidrig. I do love Deveronians. I can't believe we just missed that. Come on, come back down. It's a fast one as well. It's a cool looking arc though. There he is. And Batsa, whoever that is. Got the best Ugnaught engineer in four sectors on retainer. She's a genius with electro-plumbing. You'll have the classiest refresher in Coruscant, boss. Still can't decide what to put in the sonic shower. Felucian Glimmerstones look so elegant, but I love Rylothian Onyx tile. Feel free to go solve your interior decorating problem. This entire facility is now Republic property. You're that Republic hero to borrow screaming about on the hollow. The cartel's so worried, they're paying double to finish the arc ahead of schedule. That's on top of what they're offering to kill you. Uh, uh. 
I thought I'd already done the droids. Oh, is it because they're his personal ones? Oh, is that it? Alright, let's do the droids first because they're just going to annoy me. Pulling me backwards and forwards is the most annoying part of um, Star Wars or public combat. Oh, I've got some gloves. This is cool. Never let it be said I'm not generous in defeat. You can have this incredible marvel of starship design at a 20% discount. 30%? Project Failsafe is falling to pieces and you're still negotiating? Some Jedi work their entire lives to achieve that level of calm. Rule number one, never sweat the small stuff. I admit the ship needs a little work, but she's almost ready to fly. Besides, being incomplete means there's room to customize. Let me live, and I'll have this baby ready to leave the atmosphere in no time. You won't find a better offer, trust me. Don't count on being trusted, but you can work for our people. Hello, Vidrig. Time to earn your pay. Looking forward to it. Could you spare some culto first? Haven't had contact with the outside in weeks. This is Foreman Tiero and Republic forces calling from Giant Spear. Does anyone read? Loud and clear, Tiero. We sent those Republic forces. What's the Ark's status? Is it secure? Bad news, Alasov. Vidrig was scamming the huts. The Ark is nowhere near complete. Those idiot huts can't even save themselves right. Stand by. Foreman, this is Shalem Avesta. Makeb's core is tearing apart, and we can't stop it. That Ark is our people's only hope of escape. If I send you every able body I have and guarantee your safety, can you finish the Ark in time to evacuate our world? I'll blast it well try. The Huts are surely organizing a counterattack. We're forming a battle plan to defeat it. We'll brief you back here. Hurry! We sealed the blast door to keep Hut reinforcements out, but there's bound to be another way out of here. Vidrig kept a private shuttle pad nearby. You can take his transport while we get to work. Okay, return to Shalim. Um, it sort of looks like it wants us to take this, so... Why not? Oh, I love it when it does that. <laughs> just like instant gratification for just teleporting. All right. We can't thank you enough for securing the Ark, Master Jedi. You turned certain death into a chance for survival. We've bought a reprieve, but now the Huts have something to fight for, and their forces outnumber ours. You're more right than you know. We intercepted priority signals from the cartel. Every regulator in this hemisphere has been ordered to retake the Ark. At all costs. Alasov, organize a defense force. Anyone willing to fight gets a blaster and a ride to the Ark's construction site. Go now. We'll need your shuttle navigator. Come on. Shalem, contact your allies. We'll need all the help we can get. Already done. Impending doom was an excellent motivator. My people are scouting for regulator activity and reporting what they find. We've identified one major staging area. The Fingers. Originally one mesa, until a quake redecorated the place. Now, it's held together by a series of interconnected energy fields, light bridges. The regulators store heavy artillery and weapon caches there. If those mercenaries rearm, they'll blast us to oblivion. The mercenaries place too much confidence in force of arms. Destroying their caches will collapse our enemy's resolve. I hadn't considered that, Master Jedi. But the thought makes me smile. We know the Regulator's army also includes war droids and a battle platform. We're still scouting for those. Translation. He's finding lots of ways to risk your life. You're trying to save your people, and we're your best chance. There's nothing to apologize for. Who was apologizing? Once you've destroyed the artillery and weapon caches in the fingers, contact me. I should have additional targets by then. Good luck. Okay, we'll just it's pick okay. one of those at random because we don't need it. Um, who's the heart? 
cuts. I know we're, we're like 35 minutes in, but I really don't want to stop yet, so. Uh, Christ, where is that? Is there somewhere closer? I am, I think I'll just take the time to go find out if there's somewhere closer that I can transport. I bet there isn't. Vehicle pads are currently no. open for business. No, there's not. Um, you know what? I think I might actually end the episode here. Um, just so that I can do the journey in between the episodes. So, um, thank you very, very much for watching. And, uh, we'll tune in next time for, um, what I suppose is probably going to be the end of Makeb. What I think. Anyway.